you guys welcome back to my channel and hi I'm Tam if you're new here and you don't know who I am in today's video I'm gonna be doing a university Q&A these are just some questions that I got asked and I'm just here to answer them also just want to just point out a quick disclaimer these are all my own personal views obviously not everything's hundred percent accurate this is from personal experience also just listening to my friends listening to what they say and their experiences so I'm just going to share my take on these questions. Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So I'm just going to be reading um, questions off my phone that I wrote down and I also wrote down some answers so that I wouldn't be standing here rambling to you guys. What is university really like? University is a lot of fun but just as much as it is fun, it is a lot of hard work and the workload is very underestimated by everyone like high school is nothing if you think you're working hard in high school that workload is going to triple in university um so it can be really stressful and overwhelming i think as anyone who goes into university is going to experience stress proper stress like not just what you think stress is you're going to experience proper proper stress you're going to get very overwhelmed and breakdowns are a common thing <laughs> so yeah you do have to grow up fast just because of the new environment living on your own having to do everything on your own the next question is do you think it will benefit your future yes i do feel that what i'm personally studying is gonna benefit my future yeah just because i don't know i feel like i'm doing a design degree i'm studying multimedia design i don't know everything and i think it's just good because what i'm currently doing is just learning what the real world would be like if i had to go into a job so it's sort of preparing me for that but i know some degrees are sort of like um not like that i guess i'm doing a practical degree i can't really speak on a theory degree i don't know but for me personally, I think it will benefit my future just because I feel like I'm actually being prepared to be thrown in the deep end when I leave. Stress. Yes, this is something you are going to hear a lot. If you think you've been stressed in the past, in high school, you have not experienced stress. Like, you just have not. Like, I used to think, oh, I'm so stressed for my A levels, I'm so stressed for my O levels. There's nothing like university, like that's actual stress. You can't even, like, I can't even explain it to you. It's very overwhelming, very stressful because not only are you trying to study, you have to like work, feed yourself, have try and have a social life and like just take care of your own well-being, which can be really hard with the amount of work and the deadlines and the studying. It, it really can pile up onto a person. Yeah, maybe that's a video idea on how I try and like maintain my stress. Was it easy to meet people and make friends? I'm also gonna just answer this in personal way. In the beginning for me, it wasn't just because of where I went to go and stay, my first accommodation that I was staying in. The people weren't really as friendly and they weren't really as open to making new friends. They kind of already had their friends. And I would say that a lot of people going into universities, like most of them do go in with people they know, like their friends. Then I moved and yeah, where I moved to, it was a lot more friendlier, a lot more open, like everyone introduced themselves to me. Like as soon as I got there, I had help moving in my stuff. You do need the courage to go up and talk to people, to be like, hi, my name's Tam, like, you know, I'm new here and all of that. So I think you have to have a lot of confidence to go and meet people. I think if you just rely on people coming to you, I don't think it'll work out. So it is very easy to meet people, but I think you need to have the courage. Try and make those bonds. So I think it's more like a yes and no. Yeah. How do you adjust to the new environment nicely, especially if you don't know anyone? I wrote down here, introduce yourself to the neighbors or people living around you, go take a look like what's around you, familiarize yourself, 
and with your surroundings as much as possible so you don't feel lost such as like a mall, supermarket, hospitals, doctors, police, just so you're prepared and can feel at ease and like anything that life throws at you, you kind of know where to go. So I definitely think like exploring is key. Maybe what you could do is introduce yourself to your roommate, your neighbor, whatever, and just be like, hey, I'm new. Um, I don't really know this area, can you tell me where any of these places are? Even if you look on Google Maps or something and maybe go for a walk, just look and familiarize yourself with the nearest like places that you're gonna need at some point. So like um, the essential places. So yeah, I think that's the best way to make sure you feel a little bit more comfortable because I think when you move somewhere new, you just don't know anything. And I feel like at home, you know where this is, you know where that is, and like, you know where everything is, so you kind of feel more secure. So I think if you move somewhere new and you start somewhere completely new, you need to just familiarize yourself so that you feel a lot more comfortable, like, okay, I know where I'm going today, and not stress, like, oh, where am I going to go and buy groceries today, or I don't know, like, God forbid, something gets stolen and you now need to go and find the police, and... You know now you don't know where the police station is and it can be very overwhelming so i'd rather think that you need to minimize that kind of stress and just figure out where everything is so that if something does potentially go wrong or if you need something desperately and you're in a rush you just know where to go the last question is is university for everyone um i'm gonna answer this very like what i think i personally don't think university is for everyone like there's a stigma that okay after high school you need to go to university if you don't go to university your life's gonna be a mess like no it's not like that like definitely not like um my only reason for going to university is because i found something like a course that i really wanted to do and i was really like oh i really want to go here i really want to study this i really want to know what it is because in high school i never had any of the subjects that i was passionate about like i really hated high school and now I have the opportunity to study something that's like I never got to in high school. So I feel like that's a big factor. So I feel like you need to have a sort of passion or like, even if you like don't even know if it's your passion, like if you just feel like, oh, I really would love to learn about this. Like, I think you should go ahead and do it. Like, I mean, it's three years. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of money. So I feel like if you're gonna go like, try and do something close to something you'd like like don't don't force yourself to do something you hate like this is not just three years it is kind of the rest of your life so you do need to take into consideration that so yeah like don't put yourself through university to go and do something else after if you have an amazing talent in singing or in dancing i suggest maybe go and like do that or if you're into beauty go and do a beauty course like there's so many opportunities out there that don't require you to go and like study and put your head in the book to become a lawyer because you know you need a degree and it's not like that i feel like if you're talented enough already with what you have like you really have a special talent like why not go and um pursue it but if you just like have no idea and you're like stuck and you're like i don't know if i really like if this is really for me um, I'm unsure then yeah I'd maybe suggest research like research is key there's so many job opportunities out there um, there's like so much potential for anything so you can research you see what um, may benefit you and what you think is for you I hope that helps also I just want to point out that so not every course is gonna benefit you in the way you think so i'd suggest like if you see a course don't just be like yeah okay i'm gonna just gonna do that course like actually do your research like see what they do all i can say is research is key for me personally i did a lot of research like i think i was researching from 2016 I look at like the syllabus see what they do and if you're feeling like okay this isn't for you then i wouldn't suggest doing it like for my course, um, BA in Visual Communications. I'm doing it at a different affiliate, um, but the actual university, um, Stellenbosch University, has a completely different 
course but it's literally the same degree but what they're doing and what we're doing is completely different and i know that if i was there i wouldn't have enjoyed this course as much as i do at my university so i do think you need to research and don't just like pick okay that's the degree so i'm just gonna go and do that different um universities do have a different way of doing things so maybe try and figure out the one that suits you if you're looking at going but if you're not don't stress like there is a lot of potential for other people like university isn't the beginning and the end of the world um and yeah i hope that answers some questions about university and like what i personally think and if you have any other questions like just comment them down below or just dm me and i'll be more than happy to like try and assist you help you like come up with something or like just give you some advice and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you when i make my next video bye guys